Good morning guys. So it has been such a long time since the last time I vlogged. Also, since the last time I've gotten so many new subscribers, so I just wanna say welcome. I hope you guys are enjoying the channel so far. I'm actually gonna finish my coffee and kinda of get ready for the day and bring you guys along with me. So I wanted to show you this package that I got. It was so exciting. Um, I think it was last week I uploaded my skincare video. I talked about these sheet masks that I'm obsessed with from the brand Karuna and they saw my video and they sent me this super sweet package which they totally didn't have to. This was so sweet of them. So they did send me a pack of my favorite ones. These are so good for dry skin. And then they also included some other masks that I've, I've never actually tried. I don't think I've ever used a mask that um, only goes on your cheek and eyes like that. And also some eye masks, which is so awesome because I don't have any eye mask at the moment. Also over here, I got a super sweet package from this brand called Bellarte. Bellarte, I think that's how you say it. Um, I was not expecting this either, so this was just so sweet of the shop owner to send this to me. Um, but she sent me, I've actually talked about them on my channel before, because I love supporting small boutiques that are owned by women. Um, so yeah, she sent me a few outfits, which I think I'm actually gonna wear one of them today. This really cute top right here. This is so cute. I think I might actually wear this top right here. I just realized that my pajamas have been on backwards this whole time. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We're about to take a shower anyways. Um, so before I jump in the shower, I'm actually gonna use this face mask right here. This is from Summer Fridays. I'm gonna use this to exfoliate my skin and then I just rinse it off in the shower. I'm just gonna put it everywhere. I'm gonna skip my upper lip because I used Nair pretty recently and I don't wanna irritate it. I talked about this in my skincare video also, you guys, so if you guys want to know why I like using this, what I love about it, definitely check out that video. I'll leave it linked down below. So I'm just going to let that sit for 60 seconds, and then I'm going to jump in the shower. My skin feels so soft right now. I love that stuff. Okay, so now I'm going to use this face mask. This is the Origins Charcoal Mask. I'm going to apply this one next. I feel like every time I exfoliate, since I do it so infrequently, I love following it up with this mask because the exfoliating one um, gets rid of that top layer and then this one will draw out anything that's kind of left behind. And it leaves my skin feeling firm also. I don't know if I told you, but I found out, well, I actually already knew that I was allergic to rosehip oil, like pure rosehip oil. I tried it a few years ago and I broke out pretty bad. Um, but turns out I'm actually allergic to any skincare product that has rose in it, which is so devastating because you guys know I absolutely love using anything with rose in it because rose is rose oil tends to be very hydrating. So I went through all of my skincare stuff and got rid of every single thing that contained roses in it. And it was so much good stuff, you guys. I was so devastated. So yeah, I just leave this on until it is fully dry. So I'm wrapping up the baby shower gift and I wanted to show you guys what I got. Uh, we have this. This is the, the noise maker that we use and it like syncs up to your phone. It has like a night light. It's seriously so awesome. And then look at the card. So precious. I love it. I decided I'm going to use these two right here. I almost forgot my lips. I'm just gonna use this. I'm gonna put a pretty thick layer of it. I'm packing my diaper bag right now. I wanna make sure I don't forget anything. So I wanted to show you guys um, how I pack everything. I have this little organizer. Um, so I have wet ones. I love these to like wipe down, you know, if we're sitting somewhere at a restaurant. I wipe down everything with that. I have extra diapers, a toy, and his water bottle. And then on this side, I have my stuff. My wristlet that has my car keys my credit cards, um, in here I keep whatever lip gloss and what do I have in here right now? Oh, I have floss, I gotta have floss. My dip powder, oh, I haven't shown you guys this lipstick yet, this is such a pretty color. It's called He Thinks He's So Macho, I love this color. It's just one of those colors that's gonna look good no matter what makeup you're wearing. 
And I've really been loving this lip gloss. It's really pigmented and it has a slight shine to it. So pretty. And then I have my sunglasses. And this is why I like to lay everything out. I almost forgot wipes. So this is the bag all packed. It isn't always this full. It's just we're going to be gone all day. So I want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. It's time to take this off. So I usually just like to put the rest of the serum in. I don't rinse it off. I'm going to go ahead and do my skincare. Ooh, it feels so soft. I'm gonna do my skincare off camera because if I do it on camera, it's gonna take forever. I really wanted to wash my hair today, but I just did not have enough time. Did I show you guys? I cut my hair a lot, almost like eight inches off. And then I'm gonna go in with my Tatcha Silk Primer and just use that around my chin area. Because this does a good job of like filling in your smile lines and also like any texture. I don't know what foundation I wanna use. Um, I tried this one the other day, the new Hourglass Vanish Foundation. And it was pretty good except it like emphasized my smile lines and I don't like that. But everywhere else it looked really flawless. So I feel like this is one of those foundations to use when my skin is like super hydrated which it probably is today but I don't want to chance it I'm gonna put this on my cheeks this is from Charlotte Tilbury it gives you like a really really pretty glow it's like a tiny little bit it is all about the prep skin prep I feel like your makeup is just gonna look so good if you just do a good job of priming and prepping your skin and then for some added glow I'm gonna use these Lancome drops these are so pretty a little too much. I am going to use my Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. This is just such a good one. And it's also like the perfect matte for me. I'm in the color beige. Also, this foundation brush is amazing. I feel like I don't use the Beauty Blender quite as much just because this one is easier to keep clean and it does such a good job of applying your foundation streak free i'm just gonna go in the places that i think i need it a little bit more okay for concealer i'm gonna be using my Jouer essentials high coverage concealer this is a really good one i really like this concealer because it leaves your under eye area looking really hydrated but it has really good coverage And I'm gonna use my hourglass powder to set everything. So I am gonna bake my smile lines. I'm gonna let that powder kind of sit on my smile lines for a little bit. I find that that really helps with any product settling in there all day. While I bake, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair. This is like how I get ready, you guys. I'm like all over the place. I'm just gonna go through and like do a little bit of a touch up. I have my hair kind of wavy right now. So I'm just gonna roll with that, but just fix the hair around my face. It's always like my little baby hairs that get really, really curly. And that's kind of what makes my hair look messy, even though it's really not. So once I fix that, it looks like I actually did all my hair, but I didn't. Now I can go ahead and dust all that powder off. For bronzer, I'm gonna use my Hourglass bronzer right here. Recently, I've been starting my contour with my eyes and then just like whatever product is left, I will just bring it down into my nose. I really like using this brush to blend everything out because it's a really good blending brush. For blush, I'm gonna use my really pretty Jouer blush palette. Look at this blush goodness you guys so many pretty colors so i've really been enjoying this one because it's like a neutral color can you guys believe sebastian is 13 months old already where does time go i think i'm ready for another one i want like 10 little sebastians running around he's so perfect I'm gonna use this new makeup palette. Look at this, you guys. I feel like this is the original Naked palette. It looks like it. I probably should have read the little pamphlet it came with, but I was just so excited. I feel like I recognize those colors. I'm basically just using 
those crease colors. Oh, let me show you guys my lip combo that I've been doing recently and a lot of you guys have been asking. So I always start off with a, um, a lip liner that's like one or two shades darker than my lips. This one is Beeper from ColourPop and I will slightly overline my lips. So then I'll go in with that lipstick, the one from L'Oreal. So sometimes I will um, lighten it with a lighter color, but I'm actually just going to go straight into my gloss and this is going to lighten it. So this is the one I showed you guys earlier. It's called Potion. Potion. I love this color so much. And the last step is I will go in with these. These are new from NARS also. Putting some in the center of my lip. Okay, not that one baby you can play with these such a pretty combination and really the key elements of this lip is just the overlining with a shape um, darker and then ending it with this glitter um, topper in the center to make it like super glossy I'm just gonna finish off the look with some highlight it's from NARS and it's called Fort de France this is how you keep your one-year-old entertained you give them empty boxes Sebastian's ready to go papacito papacito are you ready to go bye-bye? It's -bye? <laughs> daddy's brush. <laughs> I left in such a hurry earlier and I was trying to show you my outfit, but Sebastian was not having it. So I'm back. Um, we did a little bit of shopping too. I'll show you guys what I picked up in a second. Um, but this was my outfit. It's pretty cold outside. So I had my um, jacket and let me show you. So this is my full outfit, what everything looked like. And this is my outfit by itself, just wearing some black pointy shoes. Pants are from Zara, they are super comfortable. And then this is the top that I showed you guys earlier from the Bayarte store. I'm wearing my Chanel earrings that I showed you guys. And also this really pretty ring. This is from Bobble Bar. I'm obsessed with this ring, you guys. So you can kind of turn it depending on your outfit. So I have it right here since I'm wearing like tan colors. And then I have this bracelet on right here. I think this is also from Bobble Bar. First, I went to um, Anthropology. I went in there for a flower base and I found this one. It's so pretty. It's like a honeycomb type of material. It's got gold. Yeah, yeah, I think it's the perfect size for either roses or hydrangeas. Then I went to William Sonoma. In my last video, I think it was my decluttering kitchen video, a lot of you guys brought to my attention the Nasty coating was coming off and I hadn't even noticed until you guys brought it up and you're so right. And that's where I make Sebastian's food. So I decided that it was time to invest in my, the pots and pans that I've been wanting for a long time. So I've done so much research on pots and pans. Ultimately, I decided on stainless, stainless steel and this is the brand that I went with, all clad. Um, and I almost bought like an entire set of them, but number one, it's so expensive. And number two, I didn't feel like I needed every single one of those pans. So I decided I'm gonna buy them little by little as I need them. And right now, the main two that I needed was a frying pan so that I can make eggs and like quick sauteed vegetables and a boiling pan. I went with the D5 technology, which is basically stainless steel and aluminum kind of sandwiched together in like five different layers. It's so nice, you guys. Like when I went in the store and actually held it, it's just, ugh. Seriously, it's so nice. And then also this one right here, I ended up going with the three quart saucepan. This is what it looks like. I feel like this is going to be perfect for anything. And it comes with the lid right here. So yeah, this is what it looks like. So nice, I am so excited to use these. I think I'm gonna use this one tonight. So yeah, that's everything I picked up. Um, I will leave links to everything I talked about down below. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was like a super short vlog. I am trying to upload every Sunday and then like a bonus video in the week in case you guys are wondering when I upload videos. And I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will talk to you guys next time, bye.